Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I'm Devin. And this is a Play This Not That of mm -hmm. Blitzkrieg and... Caesar! Both I'm games. seizing Rome in 20 minutes. What are you doing in 20 minutes? World War II. I feel like yours seems it's more... Darker? Darker, but also just like more comprehensive. I don't know. How long did it take to seize Rome? I think it's, it's just a good 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Unless you, do it, unless you run it back to back. <laughs> this is a comparison of Blitzkrieg and Caesar. This is Play This, Not That. If you haven't seen this series on the channel, first of all, please subscribe and all those fun things. But also, we, this is a regular series. This is a regular series in which we compare two different games, and we sometimes three actually, and then we go ahead and we talk about which one we prefer and why, going mm. over a bunch of key differences. It does not necessarily mean play this and not that. Sometimes it's play this and that. Sometimes it's play neither this nor that. It's just a conversation and a clever little title. Don't read too much into it. But let's go ahead and have a conversation about Blitzkrieg and Caesar, shall sure. we? Sure. I guess the first question is why would we compare these two games? Why would we compare these games? Which I feel like compared to other ones that we've done videos before. This one feels a little more on the nose. Perhaps, but I'm sure we'll still so get So who's like the a, designer for yours? We'll still get a comment down below being like, why would anyone compare those two games? <laughs> who designed well, yours? Whenever we do these series, there's always some people who are like, there's always a lot of people who are like, I'm so glad someone did this video. And there's a lot of people who are like, why would you ever compare those games? They're just incomparable. So these two games, honestly, the box sizes are completely different. They're kind of shouldn't really be the same game. Actually, I think they've redone them. They now actually are the same. <laughs> this is the original. Yeah, I think mine is actually this shape. Yours is this shape. That's what I meant yes. to say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blitzkrieg, designed by Paolo Murray, put out by PSC, is a game about, well, seizing, seizing, not seizing, <laughs> seizing <Rome. laughs> World War II in 20 minutes. You're going to be playing on this map, having a bit of a tug of war as you place your tokens down from behind your screen. You're going to have your own, your little personal player screens that you're going to have your tokens behind. You're placing tokens down onto the map in order to uh, win these various theaters of battle. You're going to have the Western Europe, Pacific, Pacific Ocean, Eastern Europe, Africa, Middle East, and Southeast Asia, Asia. And each of these times, as you win different battles, you're going to be moving up the victory track trying to get points. As you place tokens down, they'll have different abilities, spots will have different abilities, and the combination of the way you try to push those various levers of combat will result in who ultimately wins. In Caesar, on the other hand... Caesar shifts the, shifts the mechanics a little bit. So it, it, it is very familiar in terms of how you are playing with hidden tokens and shifting power. But in Blitzkrieg, it's much more of a tug of war within each theater. And in here, it, they, it's much more spatially oriented. It, it's, a, it's a spatial puzzler in terms of how you're trying to fight for different uh, theaters or different territories here and lay down control markers. The first person to remove all of their control markers from their section over here. I mean, you can see there's no blue over there because I won um, the second game. And you, say, the <laughs> you won the first one. Um, but it shifts it up to where instead of having tokens that compete for uh, power and is a tug of war over that kind of red mark on each section, you're trying to slowly take over different sections and then gain the bonuses to once again uh, mess with your opponent. It, it feels familiar and it's also very, very different. Ultimately, both games designed by the same person, put out by the same company, and both of them involve having tokens behind a screen that you're mm. placing down to try to sway influence in different regions. Mm -hmm. They are very comparable. Very comparable. Just, just I would never compare them, to be honest. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> so, that's offhand as far as why are these things worth comparing. Uh, the second thing we tend to talk about is price, which, okay. uh, when you're talking about games from like completely different avenues, sometimes they're different, sometimes they're not, these are realistically the same price point. I think they're probably yeah. the exact same. I think they're the same MSRP. They might be a drop different. They're, they're within $5 of, of each other. They're basically the same rough price point, yeah. so price should not be a factor here as far as which one you get. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, they're both readily available to some degree. You might have this a might slightly... This might be cheaper because it's older? So you might have a slightly easier time, especially if you're buying it used because this is older, but I think they've both been out for long enough that they're pretty comparable as far as price goes. Yarp. As far as ease of learning teach, any differences there? I think that, man, part, even though I feel like this has more things to consider, mm -hmm. I feel like it might be the easier one to teach. Interesting. I don't feel that way. So, so both these games are basically the same game, <laughs> basically. I, I like the point that this is. A, I don't feel that. Way. This is a nuanced. This is a nuanced critique. Uh, but I, what I will say is, both of them have the same basic principle of you place down a token. It has a degree of influence. You move certain things around. You have certain abilities related to the spots you're going on as you place those out. I do find that the direct placement of Blitzkrieg feels a drop more intuitive as far as you place something down and you get the benefit. It almost feels like worker placement, which is very uh, comparable. Versus Caesar has a few small things that are slightly different. Nothing crazy.
crazy, but the idea that you can, first of all, have a different effect as far as who puts the token down and gets the reward versus who's winning the battle, that idea, it's not really direct worker placement as far as getting things, it's a little bit more area control. And then also, I will say, these Senate tokens, not a big deal, but the way these over here work as you gather these tokens and then get extra rewards underneath them, that was a drop confusing, I found. I think the Blitzkrieg direct points makes a little bit more sense as far as compared to Caesar and getting rid of all your, your tokens over there. Nuance difference. Yeah. I would argue Caesar is a drop, minuscule, a drop harder to learn. I think for me, the thing that I focus on or the where I orient whenever I'm like learning a game mm -hmm. or trying to explain a game is I do think that maybe the resolution of stuff is simpler in here. Yep. But because this is much more of an abstracted map, they've separated the theaters into sections and then into rows. Um, I think sometimes, you know, visually people might th not necessarily think that it's a uh, horizontal resolution. And like, I, I do think that it's mainly easy to explain how that pathing works out. But sometimes even if the overall combination of mechanics have more things to like wrap your head around, I think there's just something simplistic or uh, visually anchoring about a map. An actual map. And yeah. so, like, having an actual map, I feel like, is, is, is really nice. And then um, certain, uh, like, small elements, like, you know, the separation of these lines and when you place them down. I, I think that maybe the graphic design of Caesar does, like, serves well to indicate how it goes. I, I, I do think that... I don't necessarily think that the mechanics of the Senate are confusing. I think that the strength of their actions are deceptive. Mm -hmm. um, I think when you first hear it, you're like, oh, that doesn't sound great, but it, it, sounds amazing. It, it builds up, it ramps up. And so the further you get along, you can very quickly clear out a lot like just by focusing on the Senate. So I think that strategically, these are a little um, more subtle. And then also, you know, at the end of the day, I think what maybe changes up how this is perceived or how this plays sure. is the research tokens. Because in yes. this, there is really nothing that's different other than the base setup. You have yep. the base setup, you have your base people, and you go. Um, really, the only thing that shifts are the bonus tokens, which you know are randomly placed out except for the Italia Senate token. And then really, we have the exact same stuff. Yeah. But in Blitzkrieg, because of the research tokens, you can build a different bag, uh, which I think is cool. Is cool and, and, and interesting. We'll and touch upon that more in the mechanics. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. But yeah, as far as yeah, I, I won't heavily debate the point. Easy learning I think are fairly similar. I, I'm happy to go small little notches one way or the other. Mm -hmm. As far as art and components, any strong opinions here? Um. I think I kind of like the simplicity of Blitzkrieg in this regard. Um, it, I also like have a um, inclination towards military history, just given like uh, my family stuff. So, like it, it, it is familiar to me very, very much so. Uh, I think that because of the like, where, whereas the graphic design in Caesar, I think, helps to show gameplay it really doesn't give you as much visual connection to it like you know i mean in this you actually get the art of yeah. the stuff in the game and by very nature of needing to have two pieces of like graphic information on one small token you have to let go of that little yeah. benefit of having that so i think that aesthetics i kind of like some of the style of blitzkrieg uh but i, I don't mind at all caesar it's just Whereas, like, the map isn't as much here, I feel like the art isn't as much here. So that's what I was going to say. I don't feel that strongly about either one. Uh, both of them are totally fine to me. Uh, color palette, totally fine. They're both fairly laid back. I do agree with you completely in that exact point, where the map's a little better here, and the pictures are better here. Uh, to me, though, it's very minor differences and not yeah. not any strong points one way or another. They might have done it to just separate out the... Uh, colors a little bit more and make them pop i would have liked more of kind of like a beige topographical look oh i like the color popping rather than the like flat puke green the puke green is my favorite the puke green is puke your favorite green is my favorite
As far as theme, for theme, this is where I actually do have a, a Looks preference. like Flubber just got flattened out onto the board. Uh, for theme, I do have a preference over here, and that's just, I might be, I think we're going to be directly countered just because based on what you said a second mm. ago, which is, I just don't care for anything uh, military, World War One, World War Two. none of that stuff really does it for me in board games. It's not something I'm against, it just doesn't, it's not a, it's not a thing that pulls me in. Mm -hmm. Contrasted with uh, Caesar, while Caesar in and of itself or himself or whatever doesn't really pull me in there that as much, military more more of a, a historical military type of a thing definitely pulls me in more. Ancient military pulls me in more than modern military. So for me, the theme of Caesar is an easy win. Uh, nothing against Blitzkrieg, but I just I'll always take uh, I'll always take ancient military over more modern military. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, the next thing that we would talk about is just the theme. Right, the theme. No, no, I think we were talking about the theme. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. didn't read the wrong one. No. No, I didn't read the wrong one. Yeah, so how do you feel about the theme? Uh, I mean, probably just as good about uh, mechanics, but I'm curious what you think about the mechanics. Before we go into the theme, which was the right thing to talk about, I want to know what you think about mechanics. Mechanics. So, mechanics is usually the meat and heart of the discussion. We go into the actual gameplay and gameplay differences of these. And this one, we'll just go back and forth. Just pick and pick, mm -hmm. pick whatever piece you want over sure. here. Uh, but for me, offhand, and this is where we start getting to strong wins, to me, Caesar takes a strong win with these dual yeah. placement tokens. Yeah. Yeah, it does. The fact that every token you place is going into two sides, which means your uh, your token has two impacts on the board state, and combined with the map that is unfolding and feels all totally connected, contrasted with the separate theaters over here and the singular placement, just means that every single placement in Caesar, to me, just feels more meaningful. Yeah. I like in both games. Both games to me have that aspect of, you know, you have that kind of worker placement, you have that ability, are you going for something that's going to help your factory, are you going mm -hmm. for research tokens, are you going for, you know, turning over your opponent's things. The idea of seeking out those abilities and wins, that that both games has has that aspect. But I just feel that every placement, it, it, to me Blitzkrieg feels, and you touched upon this in the intro, but Blitzkrieg to me feels like a tug of war, and Caesar feels like an entire interconnected web, yeah. where every single thing yeah. has a way that it pushes and prods on that web. Yeah. I think what I love about both games that share this element that I think is really unique, and I don't recall really experiencing it in a lot of other games, is the tension and fear, like palpable fear of being the second to last to do something. Yeah. Because if you ever uh, if you ever place something down, no matter what benefit you get, if you place this here and you leave this open, if this has been played and you play that here, you're opening the door. If you leave the possibility for them to finish a section, you give a lot of decision power to your opponent. Yeah. And you really have to weigh the value of going to a spot that is going to allow them to close out to make sure that you have set yourself up well for victory in that zone and also gotten the best benefit from whatever the action is that you're going on top of. And that is even more crucial in Caesar. And I do agree with you. I think this is where the decision space is much more fun is because everything is interconnected in Blitzkrieg, if you ever just set yourself up and you're like, okay, I'm going to take this spot here. Someone's like, okay, I'm going to end it in Caesar because you're placing tokens that affect two different zones. A single token can have ramifications beyond Multiple. one territory. Yeah. If you've been setting up a couple of different non-connected zones, yep. they're, they're automatically going to fill up a connected zone that's central to some of them and eventually it's going to get to the point where there's like a domino effect yeah. of I might be able to close out a section but that's immediately going to give my opponent the chance to then close out a section which could cascade even further and so sometimes I feel like in Blitzkrieg you have a much more um, kind of linear focus and you're just, okay, I'm going to go to this, and then I'll shift, and I'll go to this. Or maybe, you know, I, I'm focusing on these elements, but I'm not so worried if one section closes. Yeah. But in this, you have to be very careful about where one section closes and another begins, because you're always setting something else up as you're closing something, because of the nature of this dual power. And you also have to consider, when playing it, you have to think ahead. And you know, like how much do I want to win by or how much do I care about losing what by? What the odds that my opponent does or doesn't have that five or six yep. that he needs to close that out? And so they both have a similar sense of dread, but this is tied to a much larger, like, 
knot of like tension. Yeah, I do find Blitzkrieg has a drop when you can eventually push a token all the way to the edge and you can close out a bunch of bonuses at once. Mm -hmm. So it does have that occasional moment where you get that like a lot of things happening. But for the most part, Blitzkrieg feels more tit for tat tug of war. Whereas like yeah. you said, Caesar gives you those large moments. And it gives you those large moments in a few different areas. It gives you those large moments in terms of both in terms of the placement of the map. The fact that you have those you have those cascading turns where one, two, three domino effect mm -hmm. things close out. It also has that aspect of the positioning matters in the sense that it's not just about a singular track, but if you get a bunch of connected areas, you get those in-between bonuses, so you have a much stronger hold, which again gives you a more a stronger effect. You can have a, a situation where somebody is doing fairly decently or, or fairly behind, but if they close out the right section, they can put down four or five tokens at once, which is huge. Yeah. And then you have that as well with the Senate with tokens the Senate as well, tokens. where you have that idea of you can pop it down three, four, five tokens at once and have a huge swing in a mm. game where you only have 12 tokens to put out, which keeps you constantly on your toes. You have to be very, very mindful of every single thing you do and every single impact and Blitzkrieg feels more precise and minute in the impacts that are going on. Mm. Now where I will give Blitzkrieg strong points and you mentioned this already as well but where I will give Blitzkrieg points over Caesar is the research track. Yeah. Not the research track, the research bag. The idea that you can build out your own little pool of extra bonuses. And, and Caesar touches upon a drop with one of the modular expansions. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a few modular expansions within Caesar, Caesar that add different tokens. Poison and tokens the, and the Centurion tokens, centurions. I assume is what you're talking yeah. about. So the Centurions will give you the ability that Caesar, if you earn yeah. these tokens, you'll then be able to pick specific larger bonus troops and put them behind your screen. Mm -hmm. But even that doesn't feel random. It feels like you have three tokens, three options, and they feel fairly procedural. There's just different numbers. Mm -hmm. So even though it's cool and powerful, it's not the same as the research track which gives you just a a question mark of different abilities do you yeah. want to place those planes that go right away you can place two in a row do you want to get like you know if you're playing with nippon do you want uh, godzilla do you want the, the atom bomb do you want to drop that down on the board the the tokens you can get in the research track the way you can build a unique bag that's something that's in blitzkrieg that caesar just doesn't have and that's definitely yeah. a point for blitzkrieg i do think that one element that i like about both games uh that plays out a little bit differently with each though the bomb and the poison tokens both connect is there more than one ways to win yeah um so you know you can focus on the actual placement of your control markers or the victory track uh threshold of 25 points over here with within the amount of theaters that you win but you can also just de like derive 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 your i don't know what you're trying to say your fish sentence Deprive. Deprive. You can deprive <laughs> your opponent of the ability to play. Uh, because the bomb tokens, or the bomb actions over here, and then poison the tokens. poison tokens over here, remove a random token from your opponent, and you only have about two or three that you're working with, or I think yeah. three or four with Blitzkrieg. And if you ever run out, uh, because the only way to get a higher production of them are urns that I don't actually you see don't any of them out yep. there, but then also the factories over here are how you increase that. But if somebody is, and, and I think that is something that I like about Blitzkrieg maybe a little bit more. It feels like more chess, like intentional about the research, or I mean about the factory production versus yeah. the bombs here. It feels like I have a little bit more control over that. And due to the nature of the bonus tokens being randomly placed, yeah. I don't feel like I have as much control over that. So I do think that the bomb bombing in Blitzkrieg, I think, is a more viable pathway to, pathway to victory. And I think here it's just possible. There's only three poison tokens, you'd have to get them all, and your opponent have to get none of the production. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot harder. It's uh, Deprivations there, but straight up killing your opponent that way is harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's as far, that's, I think as far, as, that's everything I have as far as the mechanics. The only other thing I have, and this is mainly due to just a lack of experience with Caesar, is a thing that was kind of a boon to me with Blitzkrieg was playing it solo. So, um, I don't know where, I think the, uh, here, can you just pass me the rule book real quick? The rule uh, of, uh, underneath for Blitzkrieg. Okay. okay. There is a solo mode for Caesar as well. I have not played either. Of and so the element that I really like for, do, 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 is it at the back? It might be a separate rule book. I think it's a separate rule book. I think it's that one. Here we go. Yep. Solo rules. So the solo rules here for Blitzkrieg, and I'll just open this up here on the table since you've got such a nice camera. I really like these stratagem tokens here. And so the solo bot that you're playing against has its own bag that you're mm -hmm. pulling from. And it has like an if-then rule set that you follow. And it really does create a difficult 
like challenge to overcome. It has a theater filter, a position filter, and a unit filter. And that just pretty much tells you exactly how and where and what is going to get placed. And so there's a level of uncertainty and like you can't really predict what's going to happen. You can set yourself up for success as best you can, but it is a different element because when you play against a real player, you know, th like they may just ha like, like you may develop an understanding of how that person plays. Yeah. And so you can like predict a little bit what makes sense as the most, uh, optimal strategies and this kind of throws a wrench in the gears and so i do like playing against this ai bot here in blitzkrieg and it's very possible that caesar has, has the same thing as well um i don't know if it's actually got um the same bag and stuff like that so i'm no, not yeah. entirely sure uh it's got solo rules here but i don't think that there's solo i think there's solo tokens. tiles there's solo there are yeah there's oh, so okay. these solo type tokens over here i don't know what's on them but Take a look over here and yeah. see. So I, I haven't played yeah, this, so and like I'm not entirely some sure. Sort of, uh, token situation over here. Sure. Yeah. And, and and that I'll be interested to see because I really do like that about Blitzkrieg as well. Um, but I do think that the main things here are the spatial web element that you were talking about, and then over here, the Nippon expansion. So as far as play this, not that. What's your preference and why? You know, if these were both 90-minute games or even 60 minute games and they were this similar i would probably say one over the other and i would ultimately maybe say caesar um just based off of how clever the spatial positioning is here it really does feel like a upgrade overall like kind of 2.0 return yep. to the rules from Paolo Mori in what he did here, and I'm I'm, I'm impressed with it a lot. Uh, but because they play so rapidly, and because there are some like distinct, you know, places where they diverge in terms of their design, this with I think the more heavier bomb threat, and then also kind of the existing expansion. It's very possible this will come out with an expansion. Uh, and then how I enjoy the rule set for the so. solo play. I, it, to me, it's play this and play that. Um, like, they're small boxes. They play in 20 minutes. You and I did a video, like, live gameplay of... The, well, not live gameplay, but recorded gameplay of this. And we finished in, I think, under 20 minutes. Per game, uh, yeah. And then we played again right away. Yeah. Because we finished in, in under, under 20, 20 minutes. minutes. And so, uh, that's a really compelling case for a game that is this fun. And when I play Blitzkrieg, I'm not wishing I was playing Caesar. I'm having fun with Blitzkrieg. And so, uh, if you have to pick one, I think that this would probably appeal to a wider audience, just based off of, it's a little bit more robust, I think, in some of the decision choices that you have in how and why and when you're playing in a location. But, if you like this type of game, there's a, a large overlap in the Venn diagram for this game, and you would probably like this. I love bag like not bag builders but i love drawing tokens and having them hidden from my opponent i like not knowing what you're able yeah. what you're capable of and then also trying to plan around and that's maybe something we didn't discuss is the limits of what you draw like yeah. that does Factor lower the, the ceiling of possibility and make you have to decide you know strategize around that and i like that uh so if you have to choose one probably pick caesar if you like these types of games, get both of them. And if you're worried about do you have space in your collection or bandwidth in your collection for both, almost certainly you do. Uh, so yeah. for me, I would fall into a different camp because mm. I really loved Blitzkrieg when I first played it. Mm. Loved it a lot. I thought it was an excellent game. And so of course I wanted to pick up Caesar when it came out. <laughs> but the key thing is what you said earlier. What you said when you're playing Blitzkrieg, you're not wishing you were playing Caesar. Oh. Ever since playing Caesar, really, when I played Blitzkrieg, I'm wishing I was playing Caesar, wow. and I liked I Blitzkrieg it. a yeah. lot. I was a big fan of it. But then I played Caesar, which did everything the same. But to me, the 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 way the map works and the way those double sided tokens work, it's to me, it's the exact same game system, but better. Mm -hmm. And it's taken me to the point that for me, the only reason I currently own Blitzkrieg is because there are still people in my game group who prefer this one, and so I'm happy to own both because I will still happily play Blitzkrieg when requested. 
but for me it does fall into the category whenever i play blitzkrieg nowadays i'm like I, i'd rather be playing caesar i find it's the same game system it's more interesting i prefer the theme i prefer the token placement i prefer the web of things that cascade and the decision points mm -hmm. i prefer the aspect that in blitzkrieg more often than not if someone feels like they're ahead it feels like they're ahead and in caesar it's never truly safe the entire time you're playing it they're both fantastic games and i think you may very well fall into your camp where you have mm -hmm. room for both and there's reasons to have both uh, for me I, I recommend Caesar, and it's not mm. that I don't recommend Blitzkrieg. It's just that I recommend Caesar as a straight up better version of Blitzkrieg. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. I can totally understand that. And that's your play. This not that two great games, fantastic games, Blitzkrieg and Caesar. Uh, looks like both of us tilt towards Caesar, just with different nuances behind that opinion. Mm -hmm. But either way, both of them are worth your attention. Check them out. See which one's for you. If you like this kind of two-player head-to-head tactical, if you don't. They and they also, not it's not designed by Paolo Mori, but there's a third one in the series. Dog so PSC fight has Dogfight, uh, Battle for the Skies, or for something. For the Skies yeah. in 20 minutes. There's a third one coming out. Don't know anything about it. We'll talk about that one when it comes out. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Devin. And have a good one. See ya.